السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو دا نیکسٹ پارٹ آف سیم سیریز ام وقار احمد اینڈ ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو ایم اسپیسیفکلی گنا ڈسکس پریزنٹ پرفیکٹ کنٹینیوس اور پریزنٹ پرفیکٹ پروگریسو سو فرسٹ آف آل لیٹ می ٹیل یو وائی دس از یوزڈ اٹ از یوزڈ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دی ایکشنس اور سچویشنس that occurred or it started in the past and are still going on are still in progress right and here are the typical examples i have written the examples with present perfect progressive or continuous tense category so first of all let's parse the structure so we have the first one in structure which is affirmative and we always put subject in the structure right so have i then we have to put there have or has according to the nature of subject or pronoun or noun right then we have to put there been keep that in mind since this is continuous and perfect both it's continuous as well as perfect and we are going to discuss it later on as well plus verb and main verb is since this is a continuous we are going to keep use the verb in fourth form right since this is continuous or progressive as well and for it being perfect we have used here third form past participle form of be which is been so it's both perfect as well as continuous or progressive now moving to moving ahead extra word or you, you may even put there uh since slash for plus time any time period or starting point not necessarily you have to you can as well moving towards the second one structure which is negative which begins with subject first then you have to put have or has if there were he she it any singular name you would put has and if there were other subjects then the ones i have talked about you would put have right plus not since this is a negative if you have void our previous categories that we have done on present simple past simple future simple and all continue continuous and perfect tenses as well if you haven't watched that i highly recommend that you go and watch them first so that you could better understand today's video lecture or you will have to struggle so what i was saying is if you have watched them already that's great you must know then why we put here not just to show the negation plus been and plus verb and obviously verb is going to be in fourth form and even here fourth form plus extra word let's move towards the interrogative you have to put auxiliary verb or helping verbs first at the beginning of the structures to give them the sign or nature of interrogative confirmative question so have i have put here have slash has plus subject plus been plus verb and it is going to be in fourth form plus extra word you may as i have mentioned before put there since or for plus time now let's have a look at these example sentences i have written for you on the board just to uh, clarify this category further than before The first one example sentence is they have been working very hard recently as i have said it's not you don't necessarily have to put since or for just to complete the structure no even if you only use this structure your sentence still belongs to present perfect continuous or progressive as i have written here you don't have to all the time put there since plus for and time now second uh, second structure now the first one is continuous working shows us that this sentence is in continuity in progress as well as perfect have shows us right it means some part of the action has completed and some is remaining or action may have fully been completed as well in such kind of sentences that we are going to discuss in a moment as well now the second one she looks tired this is one sentence yes reply she is been she has been by she apostrophe s i mean she has 
right this is how she and has are contracted plus ben jogging so why is she looking tired she looks tired because she has been jogging right no sense or four next third one example my friends have been disturbing me all day my friends have continuously been uh, disturbing me either calling me my name or doing some kind of other activities that are really annoying to me or disturbing to me now the fourth one i have i have written of uh, this i apostrophe v e is the contraction of i have you can even contract v of v have right so it's i have of been studying english all this year english this is the short form eng now it means throughout the year i have been studying english now the next one is fifth one example sentence i have written here we have been trying since exam since our exam i can mention here since our exam or even sen sen sentence is still correct even if you do modify now the last one but not the least how long have you been teaching how long have you been teaching english or how long have you been teaching international relations or psychology or even biology now till here the video was for beginners and for all the people in general from now onwards i'm going to discuss the advanced points regarding present perfect continuous or progressive tense so let's continue or proceed the first one usage why do we actually use these are the usages of present perfect progressive so the first one why do we actually use it the first usage we use it to look back over actions and situations which started in the past and are still going on so as i have mentioned at the beginning of this video lesson that we use it to talk about the actions or situations which started or occurred because not all the action i'm sorry which occurred and were started because not all the actions uh, take place on their own some actions are started man triggered and some are naturally uh, triggered right now so this is the typical example they have been working very hard recently they're working they're working working of them i mean to say their working is started in the past and is still continued up right working recently is the adverb now next one usage we even use it for the actions and situations which have just stopped but that have present result we even use present perfect progressive or continuous to talk about the actions or situations which are no more continuous which are no more in real progressive have now stopped but we use this one category and how that's it she looks tired i there is a second person whom i am talking to about the third person who is she so she is really panting by panting i must stay right here pant to take the long breath after you have done very work very hard or you have run for a long then you start taking the long breath right you puff your chest then you lose it so what i'm saying is i'm talking to the second person about that third person who is she i'm talking to him and saying why does she look tired or she looks tired the second person is saying to me yes because yes because she has been jogging here we are emphasizing the uh, you know her jogging it means the that she has run maybe for a marathon right so this is used this is this sentence fits the second one example she's uh, jogging she's now panting she she has uh, kept her both hands on her knees and she's now hunching and taking long breath she's in real not running right now in the current movement she has now stopped running she's taken long breath and panting panting means to take the long breath she's no more running or jogging 
but what he said is she's been running right in real she's not he emphasized that she has been running for long she started running in the past and now has stopped as well but he's used present perfect progressive now the next one we use it even for repeated as well as continuous activities and here's the typical example my friends have been disturbing me all the day or all day only so here what we are really emphasizing is the continuous or repeated activities so my friends have been disturbing me they have continuously been disturbing me or even they may have uh, repeated this act of disturbing me many times the all day many times they have disturbed me or continuously as well so i have said my friends have been disturbing me all the day this example sentence fits here the third usage now the moving to towards the fourth one we even use present perfect progressive to talk about the uh, to talk about the situations or sentences which contain the words like with words i'm reading these now usage with words refer to a period of time continuing up to now like recently uh, lately this week since jan or for two minutes two hours or you may even say two days or whatever you want to put right two days not day getting my point and these sentences is typically or specifically contain the adverbs like this and here's the typical example i have been studying english all this year i have been studying english all this year so all this year is the uh, corresponding of uh, i must say this week right put a comma here or if you may look at the fifth one we have been is trying since our exam or since exam we have been trying to do what maybe we have been trying to attempt a competitive exams like other than school or universities and other colleges exams we have some competitive exams so maybe we have been trying to attempt those uh, one of those competitive exams since our exam since our school or university exam right so here yes we do have since here uh so you can even add there since as i mentioned earlier as well you may or you may not as well right so since is there and i'll tell the difference between since and for as well in a minute as well inshallah now moving towards the next one how long this is this is quite similar to the first usage because even here we are showing that action started in the past and is still going on Here's the typical example. How long have you been teaching English? When did you start? I mean to say. Yeah, and you are still continuing it. So we use present perfect continuous tense for these uh, situations and actions the, of these kinds. Now, let me differentiate these two words for you. So what is the difference between these two words? Well, since shows or we use since to talk about starting points starting point while we use for to talk about the period of times period of time period of time right for example, let me make two examples with one with this since another with for. I have been teaching you for about 13 minutes. Or she's been running since morn. Since morn, by morn I mean morn is equals equals to morning, right? So they have been trying since their exam. This is the typical example. I hope you have understood the much we have discussed so far in today's video. If you want to learn about the more categories, just stay tuned with us. And inshallah, I'm going to see you in that video. Till then, take care and Allah Hafiz.